Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding percentage of users attended a contest and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called users with two different columns, user ID and user name, user ID being the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the name and the ID of a user. There is also a second table called register with two different columns again, contest ID and user ID and data type being integer. The combined column contest ID and user ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID of a user and the contest they registered into. Okay, so we are asked to write a SQL query to find the percentage of users registered in each contest rounded to two decimal places. The return the result table ordered by percentage in descending order and in case there is a tie then order it by contest ID in ascending order. Okay, so let's go through this example. So from the users table we know that there are three users in total, right? Now from the register table if we see like for different contest ID, right? So for let's say for 215 contest ID, so there is one user there is another user and so basically two out of three so 66 percent similarly for let's say for two 208 right contest id 208 so one user two user three users so all threes right so 100 percent right so similarly that is what we need to return so for uh, contest id 2 all 100 percent of the users have registered for 215 66.67 percent etc and this needs to be sorted in descending order by percentage and in case there is a tie then ascending order by contest id so since there is a tie between these three so 208 comes before 209 and then 210 right so basically what we need to do this is very simple if what we can do is we can group by contest id and count the number of distinct user ids and divide that by how many total users that we have and we can get that by counting the number of users from the users table okay so let's go ahead and start building this query so from the table called register what we are doing is we are grouping by contest id and then let's return the contest id and the second column should be percentage right now percentage is for each of the contest id like when we are group grouping by contest id how many users have registered so what we can do is we can count the number of distinct users right user id and then what we need to do is we need to divide it by the total number of users now total number of users is from users column right or users table right so here we need to write a sub query right so what we need to do is count the distinct uh, number of user ids and then divide it by from table so you div divide it by what from the users table you are counting so return the count of user id right so basically what this is going to do this is going to count the number of users so how many numbers number of users there are in the users table now once you have that so basically this value is going to be three and now for each of the group it is counting the distinct user id so for example for 215 it counted two so two divided by three right so that is going to be a fraction now what we need to do is we need to multiply it by 100 right so you multiply this entire thing by 100 and then you need to round it off to two decimal places so what we do is we round this entire thing to two decimal places now this is going to be the second column and the name of the column should be percentage right so we alias this as percentage now what we need to do is we need to order by percentage order by percentage in decreasing manner 
and if there is a tie then you order by contest id and by default the sorting is done in ascending order okay so this looks good let's me let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if, if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and it is a success right so this is how we do it uh, let me know if you find or if there is any another way of doing this because if you see here we have written a sub query right so for each of the line this sub query is going to be repeated so it is not very efficient way of doing it but it is a easy way of doing it let me know if there is a more efficient way you can think of uh, in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video